Hey up all, welcome to another Hengist World Camps. I'm back out in the Peak District and over there, I think you can see him somewhere, I'm with uh, Brian from Glossop Wild Camping. We're uh, going up Harry Hut and uh, we're just walking up the spine of the hill now. It's absolutely lovely again. Nice cool breeze. Right, well, uh, this hill won't climb itself, so I best plod on. <laughs> We've just stopped at Wormstones behind me here. What a great view from up here. Um, you can see the top of uh, Harry Hut where we're heading to. Be there in about 15 minutes. But what a cracking view from up here. Oh, I'm glad I came out. Right, well, uh, I'll plod on up the hill, catch up with Ryan. We're just nearing the uh, top of Harry Hut. You can see the trig point somewhere over there. I can't see it on this camera. Is that it? <laughs> it's next to Bra, there it is, just above my thumb. Right, well, once we get up there, uh, Brian's got a place in mind where we're going to camp. Right, well, uh, yeah, I'll go and touch this trig point. We've made it. We're at the trig point on top of Ariot. Yay! Wow, great view, in it, Brian? In it just, isn't it? <sighs> Almost 360 going on. In fact, well, yeah, it's 360, including Ashaped over there as well. Yeah, you can see Kinder Scout Ashaped behind us there. Not far off that. Over there behind me. Got higher shelf stones, bleak low going up that way. I'll switch to the camera so uh, we can have a better look. So yeah, down there you've got Glossop, Hadfield, Padfield. On the skyline there, you've got higher shelf stones heading over to bleak low. Just there, centre of the camera, you've got Ashaped going on to Kinder Scout. That's my first time up Barry Hut, I'm loving it. Right, well, uh, Brian's been up here plenty of times, so I'm in his safe hands. And uh, he's going to uh, take me to a spot that he knows now. Right, I'm looking forward to getting the tents up and uh, having a beer perhaps and uh, just sitting down and having a bit of a relax in this lovely summer evening sunshine it's been a nice day so far better than yesterday it was chucking it down right well uh, i'll shut up for now and uh, we'll plod on and we'll get to our location i'll bring you back then it's eight o'clock and uh, we've got to our location the trig point on our cut was just up there on the horizon and we've uh, just come down here to this uh, kind of flattish area. A little concerned that there's uh, quite a few 
dried heather roots sticking up through the ground you know it could punch you at the bottom of the tent but what can you do <laughs> right well uh, yeah it's eight o'clock i'm gonna get the tent up get some shelter It's approaching 20 past 9 uh, There's a lovely sunset It's absolutely gorgeous And uh, yeah, everything's sorted Got my sleeping bag, mattress uh, Stove's ready for a bit of food in a moment But uh, yeah, I've got Brian with me, he's just there and uh, I think we're about to have a beer so um, yeah I think it's time for a McEwen's Champion 7.3 right let's crack one open right well as I said I'm with Brian and we've got McEwen's Champion 7.3 at the ready so i think we'll crack them open yeah i think so mm, that smells good well cheers everybody and good health mm. cheers Oh, by gum. By gum, that's good beer. That's good beer. <laughs> Bloody is. <laughs> Especially when you're sat up on a hill watching a glorious sunset oh, like this. Yeah. yeah, thanks for bringing me here, Brian. This My is pleasure, yes. An excellent location. I can come here quite often, really, because it's. It, when I'm walking without stopping to do videos yeah. and things, it literally. An hour I'm surprised you're not here. up here every weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've seen what my life is like. It's not quite as easy. Yeah, you've got a full plate, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not bone idle like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I'm having a splendid evening. Um, I'll switch to the other camera in a moment and uh, show you this sunset. It's a bit windy, but not strong wind, more like refreshing wind. Mm. And uh, it's not cold. My, uh, it's a bit windier than when I last used this type style one. And uh, I'm on very uneven ground at the moment. But it seems to be holding up and uh, it's hardly moving in the wind. 
Right, oh, <laughs> I was just going to switch to the uh, other camera, show you the sunset, but a big cloud's kind of gone over it. I'll switch to the other camera anyway. Yeah, that so uh, th there's the sun, it might be re-emerging. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting to see. Uh, there's some lovely colours though. This camera doesn't do it justice, but there's the depths of the reds and the oranges and the way it's lighting up the bottom of those clouds. I would zoom in if uh, I could be bothered to find out how it does it on this camera. But uh, as I mentioned before, bone idle. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. I'm just going to keep pointing the camera. <laughs> I hope the, sun, hope the sun comes back out. Mm. I think it actually has slipped behind that hill now. I'm pretty sure. How dare you? 24 minutes past was the sun set, so. You're right. It's now 25 past. Approaching. Well, it was nice what we saw. Mm. Well, it's about nearly ten past ten, and uh, yeah, I've just been sat with Brian, drinking that can of beer, having a good old chat. Most enjoyable. But Brian's gone back to his tent; he's getting some food on, and I'm thinking of doing the same. Now I'm uh, going to cook something which I've never cooked before, uh, it's nothing technical, it's just something I've never cooked before. It's my usual uh, two packets of uh, macaroni cheese mug shots. I'm going to let those, put those to one side and let those cook. But I've also got, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> well, it says Tesco beef bolognese. So uh, while the pasta's hydrating, I'm going to get that warmed up and then when it's warm, chuck the pasta in with it and I've kind of like pasta bolognese. That's the idea. <laughs> Might turn out to be absolutely horrible, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. Right, I'm going to get on with it. Well, I've just cooked my tea. Um, I'll give you a quick look at it before I eat it. I don't know if this camera will pick it up in this light, but... There it is, bolognese and pasta. And it's piping hot, and I'm going to get stuck into it because I'm quite hungry. Mm. <laughs> it's about 20 past 11. I hope you can see me. It's uh, pitch black outside. Lovely view though, out of my tent door. Some lights in the distance. Um, I've had my tea. Whoa, what a filling meal that was. Pasta and bolognese, really nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to um, open this can of beer and put the radio on. I think Brian's listening to some uh, YouTube or something like that. Um, it's really good though that we're so close together. Um, we've been able to just like chat while we've been in the tents. <laughs> That's been nice. Oh, I've managed to open it without spilling it yet again. Right, folks, in this uh, darkness, cheers all and good health. <sighs> eee, that's still good beer. <laughs> I shall just put it in my... Oops, I shall just put it in my boot for the moment. There was something already in my boot. <laughs> right, there, uh, it's secure. Right, yeah, um, I think I'm just going to spend the remainder of the evening drinking that tin of beer, listening to a bit of radio, having a bit of chat with Brian. And uh, I'll bring you back when I'm uh, going to bed down for the night. All right, folks. Sorry about the darkness. 
<laughs> See y'all later. It's just gone midnight. Uh, sorry about the uh, darkness and it looking like a spooky video. I'm shining a torch in my face, so uh, I can't really see what I'm looking at. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just gone midnight. And uh, I've drunk all my beer. I've got a full stomach. And uh, I'm going to get my head down. Um, I think Brian's going to be doing the same shortly. Right, folks. This floating head in the darkness. <laughs> I will uh, say good night all, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about twenty to seven, and uh, ooh, we're running a little bit late. We were supposed to be away for seven, but didn't get up till about ten past six, and uh, I've just. Got a cup of tea there, brewing. Can't do anything before I had a brew. Um, hopefully, be packed up by about half seven. I hope. <laughs> right, well, uh, I'll get back to my brew and I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, it's ten to eight. We're all packed up, got our bags on. Ryan's just there behind me. This is where I was camped, just here, and uh, I'm just having my usual last look around, make sure no rubbish, especially tent pegs, because I'm always leaving tent pegs, well, always remembering them, last thing, obviously I don't leave them. <laughs> no, that looks all pretty clear, as we always do, leave no trace. Right, well, this has been a cracking camp. Fantastic views, a lovely sunset. Ah, oh, lots of fresh air. Mm. Right, well, uh, we're going to plod on back down into Glossop. So, uh, thank you, Harry Hutt, for a, a lovely evening. And uh, thanks, Brian, for bringing me here. My pleasure, mate. It's been really good. Right, well, uh, I'll speak to you when I get back to the car, but for now, we're going to plod on. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> oh, I'm back at the car. All right, Roy. <laughs> Yeah, take care mate. See you soon. And uh, yeah, we've just got back from our trip up Harry Hut. That was a cracking camp. The weather was excellent. And uh, yeah, I had a fantastic sleep. A really good night's sleep, which is unusual for me. Before I go, I just want to say thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, um, I look forward to seeing your comments and uh, replying to them. But until next time, when I'll see you again for another Hengis Wild Camps, it's cheerio. Bye all.